beautiful views out over the water, but also privacy. I've got this really, really stylish Bimini T-top. Great place to hang out on passage. Experiences. Um, experiences, memories, and good times. Uh, I believe that's what a vessel like this um, is designed to create for you. Uh, this is the San Lorenzo SL72. This is a boat which brings memories or brings those experiences to life. Uh, my name is Dan Jones, welcome to the Boat Brokerage. Uh, in this video, we're gonna do a detailed walkthrough on this boat. So we're gonna probably start at the back make our way uh, through the main deck, downstairs, up on the flybridge, and we'll check out the crew quarters. If you're interested in this vessel in more detail, there will be a mechanical overview and test drive separate to that. So follow the link coming up on the screen, and you can always go to the video description and check it out down below. Um, yeah, but I feel like a boat like this, um, it really is all about those amazing weekends, those epic holidays, and um, taking the people that are important to you uh, along on the journey. Uh, not too many though. You don't want to share too many a boat like this with too many people because it's pretty awesome. So it might as well be a little bit exclusive. Uh, but yeah, so San Lorenzo, it's um, for those of you don't who don't know, um, for most of you, it shouldn't need an introduction to be fair. It's a very well known Italian shipyard. Uh, they're basically building super yachts. This is a mini super yacht, super yacht in terms of its uh, quality, fit and finish. And when you walk around the boat, um, a lot of the features are in line with what you would see on a super yacht. Um, however, this is a size of boat that um, could be owner operated uh, or you could absolutely and be comfortable operating with, with a crew too. Anyway, um, out here on the back uh, deck, this is your main uh, alfresco outdoor dining area. This table is huge. This is what it's all about. So we can do a number of settings here at the table. Um, we are all under protection, under the shade. It is raining today. So the water is actually dripping just behind me here at the uh, director's chair. So I, I would still be comfortable eating a meal and everybody is gonna be protected. This is, uh, the majority of this boat is uh, focused on giving you protection from the weather, giving you beautiful views out over the water, but also privacy. It's not, um, it's not encouraging, and when you look at the external shots that we've taken of the boat, it's not encouraging too much looking in from other people. It's more of a look out kind of vibe. Um, so uh, anyway, we'll work our way around. We've got all the deck gear. We've got some side opening um, uh, access doors just here, and then you can go down to the aft platform and the crew quarters and engine bay. We'll do that in the other video. I'm just gonna focus on the living quarters for this one. Um, hatch down into the crew quarters as well. And underneath this table, we have two large storage drawers and we also have storage underneath these quite comfortable, by the way, very bougie seats. So they're lovely. Um, full on commercial grade fire hose in there. Come on into the saloon and I'm gonna try and do this reasonably efficiently because there's a lot of boat to cover. Um, but hopefully you can just appreciate all this. So maybe just stay back, we'll make sure everyone can see. This lounge, it is massive. So the whole party can be at the back, uh, on the back deck eating, and you can all come in here to relax. You've got a pop-up TV just there, storage all the way along, and these cushions will pop up as well, and there is storage below. The blinds will pop down, the windows are tinted, so during the daytime, no one is really gonna be seeing in, and the access door to the aft deck it's one huge sliding door. So that's at its maximum opening just there. Um, so we come in, we got really nice finishings. The Italians do a great job at all this sort of stuff. They, uh, I feel like they design epic experiences. It's not, it's not just a boat to them. Like this whole thing is, is it's the, the feeling you get when you get on board uh, a San Lorenzo. It's, it's impressive, put it that way. So this is the dining area. So you can do formal dining. So obviously for six, um, we've got 
nice um, details on the ceiling just here. We've got down lights, we've got blinds, but heading back to what I was talking about before, it is a little bit private. You know, we just have the one window there and then the epic view out the back. It's not about people looking in and sort of, um, you know, looking in all the time, so to speak. Anyway, moving forward to the next section, we do have one of the two side opening uh, access doors out onto the deck, so proper ship stuff, and another one on starboard. But this is the galley, um, obviously owner-operator, let will just come around there. An owner-operator would be comfortable in here, but you can, uh, you can definitely set it up with crew. So if you had a hostess running the show for the day, they're gonna be out of the way. They've got access to the side decks, so they can go up and down the side or through the middle of the boat and up to the flybridge, which we will get to later in the video all Millet appliances. Um, we have a freezer underneath here, fridge just here, Millet stove, a four burner cooktop, um, that's the extractor vent, vent fan thingamajiggy, um, and then a Millet microwave just here. You've got plug-ins for your appliances, coffee machines and what have you, storage, drawers, more storage, and a washing machine just here. So it's essentially a fully equipped galley. Just here, is where all your fancy wear is. So that's where you keep all your, all individually held cutlery for dinner parties, just there. Um, coming forward, this is a nice little chill out zone. So if you are doing a trip uh, north, for example, north, south, or wherever you choose, this is a great place to hang out on passage. A couple of people are gonna be comfortable. You've got this table that just here that can fold out. You can do, watch movies, use your laptop and converse with someone if they're at the lower helm. I'm not gonna go through this helm in detail because that's gonna be in the other video. This is one of three possible places to operate the boat from. So this is the lower main helm. As you can see, it's separated from the main or the rest of the cabin by this bulkhead just here. And then the flybridge is a little bit more open. Uh, we'll get to that a bit later. Come on down and we'll go and check out the accommodation. So you go down one, two, one, two, three, for five stairs and you have this handrail here and they're of a decent size. And what we'll do, we'll go forward into the VIP, but first washer and dryer, just there, melee as well. And actually no, we'll go, we'll go straight to the master. We'll go straight to the master. So if you turn around and come down the hallway, we go past the office, which is the occasional sleeping area and the guest cabin and into the full beam master, which is really nice. So come on in here and just soak all this up. This is a king-sized island bed. We've got this uh, textured finish and you can absolutely sit up in bed. You know, you can, you can I could stand up in bed. <laughs> so um, lots of space. We have these vertical portholes just here. The aft ones open, but they are really are ship quality. And then we've got blinds that pop down. We have full standing up, uh, full stand up mirrors on either side at the on the forward bulkhead and then we have like a little makeup area to port and drawers and storage to starboard i'll walk actually no i'll show you here since i'm here will so this is like a walk in uh, i want you to notice the thickness of these doors too that's all around the boat so um essentially this is just a walk-in wardrobe so we've got drawers here you can put things here you've got a full stand-up mirror you could actually use this whole area to get changed if don't know why you would, but you could. Um, another window here, lights, um, all very, very nicely finished. And then as we make our way around to the port side, um, note that there's a TV just here as well. So you can sit up and watch TV. Um, this just pops up. So this is like for your makeup, some storage in there. And just in here, I'll switch the light on. I forget which switch it is. Oh, it's in here and quite a large private head. So just come in here, you got this beautiful finish. This is really big boat stuff, but hopefully you can get an appreciation for the amount of space we have here. Um, a, a full on rain head shower with like lots and lots of space. This is taking up almost um, half of the beam of the boat, this head. So um, the head, the shower, this beautiful stone marble, I don't know, all this, it's very nice, that's what you call it. 
and then we have this rounded timber finish, this big, big bowl. So you're doing your teeth and all that sort of stuff. It's, you're not gonna be spilling the toothpaste over the side on those little, little bowls that you get. I hate that. Oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna open this door, Will. You're gonna follow me out. So, so by the way, um, just listen, because we have the day gen set running right now. There's two gen sets on this boat. There is a night gen set, which is smaller and doesn't make as much noise. So that's the noise that you get with a gen set running. So you can have all your air conditioning, your systems operational all night long and still get a kip. So, okay, so come up one step and into what I think is really cool. This is like a little kid's room. How good is this? So we've got a sliding door. Where we are, we're on the starboard side midships now. Got a big TV, um, cupboards, cupboards, power. So this could be, this could double as like a, a second home office if you're out for a long period of time. This clearly folds out into a bed. And if you've got kids, this is another place for them to come down, play video games, read books, chill out. Very cool. So you go across the hallway on the port side and this is one of the guest cabins. So really, really nicely finished. Couple of opening portholes, blinds, same texture to finish up there. Nice big mirror, uh, bedside table, and your own private head. So not as spacious as the master, but pretty good. You still have a separate shower. You've got that same, same stone finish, still a large sink bowl and storage underneath. The mirrors are really big too. Every, all the mirrors, you, you're not struggling for, uh, you know, being able to check yourself out because they're, they're pretty spacious. I just wanna point out, whilst we're here, there is hanging storage just behind the door. Okay, and this, this lighter textured finish throughout the boat, or, and, and even the, these custom um, switches for the lights, it makes the boat feel bigger in my opinion, it makes it feel bigger. So you come up one, two, three stairs. So immediately down the stairs to starboard is the day head. So that's just aft of the VIP and forward of the little kiddies cabin. Um, you're just gonna have to excuse my bags uh, on the floor here because I forgot to move them. Um, this is the VIP. So we are heading towards the bow of the boat now and this bed's massive. Um, but you've got a couple of lockers over on starboard. You have what would be hanging storage just in here. Hopefully I'm not in the way there so you can see that. Um, so if this person needs to go to the toilet in the night, they will have to slide forward. They can't roll out the side, but that's still possible and you've got a place to hold on and this person uh, on the port side can get out a little bit easier. And then you actually have a, a similar amount of space in this loo compared to the other one, but because of the sliding door, it doesn't inhibit your access. So this one's a lot easier to use to be fair compared to the other one. So proper stand up shower, loo, we have that same bowl there. We have this nice, I'm gonna call this stone. I don't know what you call this, but it's lovely and I like it. It's, it's um, quite earthy, it's quite nice. Um, and is there drawers? I think there's storage under the beds too. Anyway, let's keep this video moving because I don't want to make it too long. I want to head straight up to the flybridge. Now it is raining, but we've got a little break in the rain. So we come up these stairs. I'm going to lose my socks so I don't have wet socks. Okay. This space is really bougie. Come up and check this out. Just stay there, Will, and make sure everyone can see this. this. This is your happy place, I think. Like, the views are exceptional. You obviously got your, your tender and toy storage up here with a, a, a dinghy davit crane. So you can deploy your toys and expand the space. So if you wanted to do some sunbaking out there, you could, but there's more sunbaking options forward. But you've got these beautiful big soft couches. There's a little bit of storage underneath them. This nice timber table. You're under this really, really stylish bimini T-top. It's not super high, so if you were seven foot tall, you're probably gonna hit your head on that, but it's stylish, and it curves over on the sides, and it's quite rigid, so it's just one of those ones that you leave up all the time. And this table folds, so you can do quite a big group. Obviously, 
the supports that come out to hold that up. Um, you can do quite a big group and do lunch up here as well. So if it's not too windy, you might do lunch up here. Uh, alternatively, if it was really windy, you'd do it on the back deck down there. These seats here are like massive cushions. So this is a great place just to hang and just be comfortable. Maybe a couple of throw cushions and you know you could just lounge away for the afternoon, so it's great. Got some storage behind here for the cupboards. Um, that's just a little mini bar area just there. That looks like a stone or marbly type finish. And then our Flybridge Helm Station, which is kind of the most enjoyable place to drive the boat from. We have all repeaters of the controls that we have downstairs, hydraulic thrusters, beautiful timber steering wheel. And as you can see, all the controls are protected by these glass things here. We will do more detail on the test drive video, um, but the view is fantastic. This is the experiences that San Lorenzo is trying to create for you. You know, these are the memories that you buy a boat like this for. So come with me, let's pop down and check out the bow because there's a lot of space there and I think we'll just wrap it up there. So I'm coming down these stairs and I have the option to go out the back of the boat or out this door to port or another one to starboard. So when the doors open, because it is like a little ship door, you do lose a little bit of your usable space just there. So you lose about, about this much space, which is what you would find on a big boat anyway. So just, it is what it is, but you're not gonna fall in because you got these like large stainless steel rails here protecting you. You could just slide across on them. Now, this is a huge storage locker and there's another one on the other side. So you can do spare anchors, you can do fenders, extra lines, all that sort of stuff. Look, look at that gear, you, know, you, don't, you don't find that on small boats. So we've got teak forward and we have a sun lounge which would you know, pretty much cater to eight people or more if you need. So it's, it's, it's huge. Um, we have really big boat anchoring set up here. We have large cleats just here. This is operational. Uh, from the helm obviously and you can see all our ports to feed the line through it, it's just big big boat stuff really so yeah uh, I hope that gave you a bit of a an overview of what this boat is all about there is a crew quarters there is a large engine bay and we're going to talk about all that in the video which is separate to this if you're interested in this San Lorenzo uh, follow the link in the description below. That'll take you to our website. And if you're interested in that test drive, we'll put a link in that as well. My name's Dan Jones. This has been The Boat Brokerage. I look forward to showing you through the boat in person. Thanks very much.